Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Kamek Films, and I'm here today with Tendo Films, and today we are going to be doing a video together, and some of you may be viewing it on Super Kamek Films, but then, then again some people might be viewing it on Tendo Films, his channel. Also, we got Joffrey here with us. <gasps> Hooray! I love things! Okay, Joffrey, that's enough. Yay! Okay, so today we're going to be doing a gaming collection. This is not con this is this basically only concludes like I mean includes, sorry. This is basically just our like consoles, like not a not handhelds is basically what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I'm gonna start out with the Wii U games. Okay, so starting out with the Wii U games, I'm going to start with my first ever Wii U game, Super Mario Maker. And it's a pretty good game. It's got the red case because it's special. Uh, I sort of lost interest in- I cannot talk today- interest in this game because, well, like, it's okay, but it's- yeah, it, it's- well, I don't know, but- Anyway, next game is New Super Mario Bros. U plus New Super Luigi U. This is a very good game. Uh, I think we I think we beat it, right? Um, I think we beat Luigi U 100%. On Mario U, there's like one level we didn't do. Okay, so we're almost done with Mario U. We're on like World Star Dash 9. Then is Mario Kart 8, which is the original version of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, just face it, it's a copy. And, yeah, this is where it originally came from, it's DLC. Uh, I recommend it if you don't have it, but you probably do have it, because it's really common. Next is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which is a pretty good game. It just recently got remade on the Switch and the 3DS with Mario Odyssey levels. So, yeah, it's basically the same game. Yeah. So, next is Super Mario 3D World, which is Nintendo Selects, because we got the cheap version. But, we didn't even- we shouldn't even got this at all, because we didn't know that it was already downloaded onto our Wii U, so we just wasted like $20 there, but yep, yeah, it's still a good game. We- we are still stuck on Champions Road for like- for like three years, we were stuck on Champions Road. And by the way, this is my second Wii U game, just letting you know. Then is Mario Party 10, which I don't really play that much, but sometimes we do whenever we have friends over. And it's a pretty good it's a pretty good game. It's one of the newer Mario games for the Wii U. Next is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, which we just got within the last few months because I started playing tennis recently. And this game is not very realistic to tennis, but that's okay because it's a Mario game. And at least it's not the Mario Tennis for the N64 because that was pretty bad. Yeah. It's like, it's impossible to unlock all the characters because you have to transfer to a Game Boy. But it's pretty rare to have an actual N64 and a Game Boy. We just played on the Wii U. Yeah, we just got Virtual Console. Next is Yoshi's Woolly World, which is one of the most recent... Wii U games that's like officially Nintendo and it's pretty good it's really really challenging but somehow we 100%ed it somehow I don't know how we did it like we did it really quickly too so that's weird but yeah it's a good game that one also uses amiibo and maybe some other day we'll do an amiibo collection next up is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze you can still see the GameStop sticker because that just shows of how much we played it. And the disc came out of the case, oddly enough, so yeah, there's the disc. Next is probably one of my favorites, Nintendo Land. Well, if you don't have Nintendo Land but you have a Wii U, you're in luck because GameStop sells it for like $2 now. So we bought it for 10 I think, but... Yeah, this is another game that the Wii U already had downloaded, so we wasted like $10, but it's good to have the case. We could be there's a huge manual in this. So yeah, there's Nintendo Land. Next up is 
Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is probably one of the best Zelda games, and it's also one of the most recent Wii U games. I think it might be the recent other, like the most recent Nintendo game for the Wii U. Also, it's also released on the Switch, and I think they're very similar, if not the same, right? Yeah. Nintendo Switch one, you can get like a Nintendo Switch shirt. Yeah. We also have Hyrule Warriors, but we don't know where that is. But yeah. we might be selling it someday because... It's kind of boring. Yeah, it's kind of boring. It's really long. But there's also Pokémon Tournament. It does not come with the Amiibo card because we got it pre-owned. And it can use Amiibo, which we do have a few Pokémon Amiibo. Not that many. Well, we, we have four. That's not bad. But, yeah. it's It's like Tekken, but... Yeah, it's also on the Switch with more characters, so the Switch version is better. Next up is probably one of my favorites, Splatoon. It is a really good shooter, and I'm still only like level 25 or something, so I haven't been playing it much lately. Then is a game I haven't played in a very long time, Pikmin 3. It's really good though. It's it's fun, and I'm still stuck on it. I'm stuck on, like, the day before the final day. I'm, like, stuck on day 17 or something. Then here is probably one of the worst Wii U games we have. It's terrible. It's trash. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. It's, like, a dollar at GameStop if you want to get it, but I don't know why you get it. So, yeah. Then we have Minecraft Wii U Edition, which is pretty good actually but it kind of gets boring after a while but it doesn't get as updated as some of the other games like some of the other Minecraft versions for other consoles next up is Sonic Lost World Deadly Six bonus edition which like we didn't we don't really play much but it was like a good addition to our collection Next up is Scribblenauts Un Unlimited, which I never played, but Adam from Tendo Films has, so that's good. Then is Scribblenauts Unmasked, which I have played, and it's a it's pretty good. I haven't really beaten it yet, though. Then here is one of the better games, Star Fox Zero, which is. Really good, and it's also fairly recent for a Wii U game. It's long. Yeah, I never played it in my life, but Adam plays it a lot. Then here's my favorite Star Fox game ever, and I know what you're thinking, seriously, but yes, I love this game so much. It's like FNAF, but only for Nintendo, so that's good. Now we're going to be doing, like, Lego games and stuff. So, here's Lego City Undercover, the Nintendo Selects version. And it's a good game, but, I, like, I'm just stuck on this one part. Yeah, so you have to collect these rainbow bricks to be able to build something so hard. And just to let you know, I normally do not look up gameplays, because normally I just do it myself, but yeah. but sometimes I do. I Next, looked up a gameplay, like, once. Yeah. Next up is probably the best LEGO game for the Wii U, LEGO Jurassic World. It's really good, and we 100%ed it, oddly enough, because we just love Jurassic World, and we played it for like 7 hours straight. And Fallen Kingdom is really good, and you can actually make the Indoraptor, like, with custom dinosaurs and yeah. stuff. Jurassic Park 3, I didn't really play that much, but Jurassic World and Jurassic Park was, were pretty good. Next up is the LEGO Movie Video Game, which was my first LEGO game, and it's... It's okay. I, I think we beat it, though. No, we're on the very last level. It's just we never play it. Yeah. Then there's LEGO Dimensions, the game that takes up, like, 24 gigabytes. Yeah. It's really annoying. It's like, for the year two, you have to download, like, a 5 gigabyte path. So now it takes up, like, 24 gigabytes. It's really annoying. Yeah. And it's not even that good, in my opinion. We have to have a separate hard drive just for LEGO Dimensions. Then there is Disney Infinity, which... It's okay. It's it's not my favorite. Then there's Disney Infinity 2.0, which is, in my opinion, is the worst Disney Infinity out of the three of them. 
And there's Disney Infinity 3.0, which is my favorite because you can play as Star Wars characters. And Dory from the best movie ever because it has the best character ever, Gerald. Next up is Skylanders games, and we have here's Giants. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I used to like Skylanders. I always hated Skylanders, and I always will. They're trash. I used to really like the Skylanders, but I sort of stopped. Then there's Swap Force. Yes, I did throw that. And here is Superchargers. The best Skylanders game because it's Donkey Kong and Bowser in it. Yeah, that's true. I have to give it that credit. And Skylanders Imaginators. Thankfully, the last Skylanders games. It only took like seven games to figure out that they're dumb. Then, with we only have a few games left. Here is We Fit You, which I don't really play that much, but I do other exercise. Then is We Party You, which is really fun. It's In some ways, it's actually better than Mario Party 10. And, of course, I know what you're thinking. Wait, don't you have the best Wii U game ever? Yes, we do have the best Wii U game ever. And we save the best for last. It is this. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. It's better than the 3DS version, in my opinion, but because of the graphics and also it's just more multiplayer. Yeah. And I am super excited for Ultimate coming out. Yeah, Ultimate looks awesome. And this video is already like 11 minutes long, so I'll turn it over to Adam so he can do Wii games. Hi, this is Adam from Tenda Films, and I'm just going to be continuing this video with the Wii games. So, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, it's a very good game. We sort of have to rush though, we don't have too much film left on the camera. Mario Kart Wii, also very good. I suggest getting this. Super Mario Galaxy, very good, very long, very hard. I suggest getting it. Super Mario Galaxy 2, very good. It's better than the first one, it's easier than the first one. Yeah, that one's boss! And then, Super Paper Mario. No! Boo! Boo! It's not as good as other Mario games. I don't know why we have it, but yeah. It was on sale for like Paper $7. Mario. Mario Sports Mix. Like, I rented this from Family Video, and we just got it because it was like really fun. Yeah. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The only... The only Wii game I actually had to look up a walkthrough on, only on the Great Maze, because that's like an hour long. Yeah. Brawl. Mario Party 9. It's like still worth like $70 at GameStop. And yeah. It's pretty good. Wario Land. Worth about $10 at GameStop. It's better than Mario Party 9 in my opinion. And... Ours broke recently, so we might have to get a new one. And this other Wario wear, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I guess it's good. You can basically win it just by shaking the wheel. Shake, shake, shake! Can I shake too? And Donkey Kong Country Returns, we played this like once. Just like the Wii U version, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and yeah, it's kind of good. Kind of good. You should still get it. This game you should definitely get. We're the Boo! Game Boo! This is the best game ever. It helps you with rhythm and stuff. And this is another really good game, Punch Out. Which they made this for the NES, but now it's a Wii game, and yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm gonna punch for the heaven out of its out of Earth. Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, very good. The I'm, case is badly damaged. Yeah, see, there's like that rip right there. But yeah, this is really good. I played this when I was like one. Poke Park Two, Wonders Beyond. I never really play this. I just got it because the first one was good, and it wasn't as good. It's really hard. Well, yeah. one part is really hard. Mario Power Tennis. This was originally a GameCube game. Now it's a Wii game for some reason. I don't know. GameCube. Well, 
It's it's okay, I guess. We never play it. This we accidentally ordered once and we tried it and it was okay, I guess. Now here's a pretty good game. Mario Super Sluggers. It's sort of like Mario Superstar Baseball for the GameCube. It has a really cool story mode. Yeah, yeah it does. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympics. That was a very good game. We spent a lot of time trying to get all the Koopalings unlocked. Then here's another Mario and Sonic. Mario and Sonic Winter Olympics. It's pretty, It's basically the same as the London Winter Olympics skiing and stuff, snowboarding. We Party, the game that came before We Party You. It's very good, very, very good. Highly recommend it. Eh, I don't really like this game, We Play. It's like, okay, I guess. It's sort of like We Party, but only less mini games. Now this is good, We Play Motion. It's basically, we play better motion controls. And I am so in the motion of that explosion. But the only problem is the skipping stones is rigged. Yeah. If you're is. player three, it just makes you fail it every time. Here's Wii Music. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's just good. Next! We fit. We never played this. Who needs exercising, people? We Fit Plus. Our first Wii game. We, like, always play this. Well, we used to. We used to get so excited about the obstacle course. Yeah, we did. This one's bad! We Ski. It's like Bandai Namco trying to rip off the Wii games that had to go W-I-I -I, and then, like, play or something or party or fit but only they did w-e inside of it no never mind yeah inside of it's whiskey it's pretty bad okay now we're going to be doing some lego games lego star wars complete saga very very good very good somewhat hard and just good this they tried to make a sequel to the complete saga but they failed they failed yeah Lego Indiana Jones 1, very good. Indiana Jones 2, even better. Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Lego Harry Potter 1 through 4, very good. Harry Potter 5 through 7, not as good as the first game, but... You're a wizard, Harry! But it's okay. And here's this game that I, some for some reason I got, I don't know why, Lego Batman. Let's see. Now we're going to do more Skylanders games. Sprouse Adventure. It's the best Skylanders game, but it's still not too good. Skylanders Giants. The second best. See, look, Skylanders keeps on getting worse and worse. Swap Force, third best. Trap Team. It's like the worst. And then we stopped getting Skylanders games for the Wii, and then we started doing other stuff. Yeah, we got like Disney Infinity. The Wii version is very bad. Yeah, it always freezes. Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. We don't really play that one, but we did play this one a lot. Monkey Ball Step and Roll. And last but certainly not least, Wii Sports Resorts and Wii Sports. Okay, so that concludes the Wii games. Now, I don't know if we're doing the GameCube or not. Yeah, let's go. Hi, I'm continuing it with our Nintendo GameCube. With Mario Kart Double Dash includes the bonus disc, which is very cool and rare. Yeah, we have like five minutes, so I can't, I sort of have to rush. Super Mario Sunshine, very, very, very good. Very good. Luigi's Mansion. Good night, Shake Duel. See, this game's pretty fun. It's very short, and that on the case, Luigi screaming, that's... That's a reference to Home Alone. Smash Bros. Melee. Very, very good. Highly recommend it. This one's heavy right here. Yeah. It has like six different instruction booklets in it. Donkey Konga. And the case is opening it so thick. Yeah. 
But it's pretty good. I mean, I sometimes play it. Don't come jungle beat. It was remade for the Wii, but this is the GameCube version. It's kind of weird because you use these Bonko controllers to control Donkey Kong. It was an okay idea, I guess. This game. This, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. And when it did work once, it was pretty bad. Kirby Air Ride. I wanted this because I thought it was good and it wasn't really that good. It, it's it's pretty good, I guess. Never mind. Let's go. Pikmin. Very good game, very hard game. But yeah, it was like one of the first GameCube games. DDR Mario Mix. This is our second copy of it because our other one broke. Well, it didn't break. It's just it was always broken ever since we got it. Pokemon Channel. I mean, it's okay. No, it's not. It's actually very bad. I mean, it's, it has like no gameplay to it. It's just like watching Pokemon. Yeah, it's like watching Pokemon watch TV. Like the Pokemon are watching game shows. It's basically like a big cutscene. Mario Golf Toastal Tour. I mean, it's okay. It's really cheap, like five dollars. This Star Fox game, the worst Star Fox game. Star Fox Adventures, pretty boring. Zelda Wind Waker, one of the better Zelda games, and yeah, it's pretty good. The original Monkey Ball, I mean, it's okay. I ordered Super Monkey Ball Adventure and they just gave me that one for some reason. Cars, it's decent, I guess. Yeah. Now we're going to be doing Lego games. Which, there's not too many for the GameCube. Bionicle, which it doesn't even say Lego for some reason, but yeah, it's Bionicle. And whatever this thing is. Oh, it's Bionicle Heroes, that's good yeah, order. Yeah, second Bionicle game. Lego Star Wars 1 and 2. Yeah, we have both. Yeah. The seller on eBay was nice and included both of them. Yeah, it's like, it, it used Mario Kart Double Dash's case. Wave Race Blue Storm. It was one of the first GameCube games. Yeah. Melee, Luigi's Mansion, Wave Race Blue Storm, Pikmin, original games. Sonic Heroes. I mean, it's okay. It gets boring. It's hard. This one's stupid! Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even come in a real case. It's in, like, an Xbox case for some reason. Sonic's 15th anniversary game. Sonic Riders. Woo. Yeah, Sonic Riders. It's okay. This one is basically just a 16-bit game. So, yeah. Yeah, Sonic Mega Collection. Original Sonic game, sort of. Okay, and that is all of our games. So, I will briefly show you all of our consoles. Let's make this quick. Wii U. Yes. Other stuff, other stuff, other stuff. Wii! Yes! SNES Mini Bo uh, Under the TV! Yes! GameCube! Yes! A few others, but we're out of film, so... Toodles!